there is the uniform magnetic field and the and we know the charged particle parameters and the field parameters the flux density we know the particle velocity initial, initial velocity about it's 5000 kilometers per second and our task is to calculate the particle trajectory in magnetic field As you remember, there is no need to place the particle inside the field. You can simply calculate the flux density, multiply the speed by the flux density and by the charge, and then you can find the force. Let's run quick field and I will show you. This is the magnetostatic problem and the model class is plain parallel. The geometry model is very simple. I have only one block, the vacuum. For the vacuum I specify the magnetic permeability 1. And I have the boundary condition arranged so that the field will be uniform. Here you can see the field distribution. The flux density is 4 millivolts and the flux density vector directed to, to the left. Now if I place the particle inside the field, I can get the flux density value and if I know the speed and the charge, I can calculate the force. And this is the main principle of the particle tracer tool. The particle charge does not affect the field distribution. The tool is written in Excel, Visual Basic for Application language. The tool, the tool is available on our website and has the open code so you can download it and modify for your own usage. And I now will simulate the electron with the initial speed of 5000 kilometers per second. So I specify the particle charge and the particle mass and I specify the initial speed there are two methods of integration implemented I will use the deep fork integration method 
the initial position, the emitter of the particle is 0, 0, 0. It's in the middle of the area. Now let's play, press the button and take a look at the result. Here you can see is the particle trajectory. And I can see more details with our trajectory tool. This is the projection on the x-axis. This is the projection on the y-axis and on the z-axis. And these are the cut planes, the x-y planes, the yz plane and the xz plane. Also you can see the calculated parameters, the kinematic parameters in the table sheet. You can see the time, the coordinates of the particle, the speed, the force, in the energy, energy. As you know, the magnetic field doesn't affect the kinetic energy of the particle. So this tool is very simple. On yours, and let's use it to simulate the real device.